Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deech here, and I'm coming to you from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm here to take a special tour throughout the city. A company called New Orleans Movie and TV Tours is going to take me around. We're going to look at some filming locations, maybe even run into something filming currently right now. Let's go check that out. The city of New Orleans has seen a lot of film and television productions. So today I'm going to take a tour with the original New Orleans movie and TV tours in hopes to see some spots some movies were made and maybe even see something currently filming. And you're going to find these all around town. They're yellow, orange, and blue with arrows and they direct you to the film set the day of filming. They're like little tiny freaking breadcrumbs. So what was the name of this movie, Lauren? Don't help her out. It's a hard one. I didn't know you know this one. 22. 22, what? Keep saying words. Jump Street. Very good. Yeah. See how hard it is to find movies and TV shows? <laughs> yeah. And I know you want to do some Channing Tatum later on, don't you? I know you do. <laughs> I've done this tour before. We just got here, but don't eat the pralines. They'll rot your teeth, but they're so freaking delicious. So there you go, right off to your left in front of the praline store. Little Bruce Willis officially get started. I am. Right, there's your Pralines store delivery there. Anybody ever been to the Napoleon House yet? You've only been here for one night. Did anyone go here last night? This little building on the corner, Napoleon House? And you'll see it in tons of horrible movies though. Remember Benjamin Button? Horrible movie. It was in Runaway Jury, remember that movie? Horrible movie. It was that magic movie, Now You See Me. Horrible movie. You remember all those? <laughs> Horrible movies, right? <laughs> Horrible compared to the movie we're going to watch. And you're going to agree with me because you're probably going to agree with me all day long. Because the best movie ever filmed in there was called what? Candyman 2, Farewell to the Flesh. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. Nobody likes a bad horror movie at 10 in the morning. More Hollywood magic. And this is way better than Candyman 2. And Vampire Diaries, maybe. All right, well, yeah, there we are. We're going to go. Lost some presses, but sure. In a minute. In Dallas, five minutes. Come on. Napoleon's has a TV set. Oh, no, it doesn't. Apparently, never had a TV, never will. Governor Connolly also appeared to have been hit. All right, President that's Napoleon. That's where creeping out. Had it right there in the morning. Kevin had been inside the hospital. table to your right. We are told a bullet entered the base of the throat and came out of the backside, but there is no confirmation. Blood transfusions are being given. A priest has administered the last rites. Um, so in this scene, we're gonna have little itty bitty tiny Tom Cruise. You ever seen Tom Cruise in person before? He's adorable. He's like this big. He's super cute. And he'll be right up here in front of us, in front of St. Louis Cathedral. And he'll be watching a very young Kirsten Dunst. He found death fast in those days, before she learned to play Just with him. To dirt. delay the moment till she had taken what she wanted. Oh, I like saying that so much. <laughs> Why are you crying, child? Or you lost my love? Mama. Oh, <clears throat> and somehow, through the power of movie magic, he's going to end up way the heck up here. I have no idea how he does it. He's taking the longest way you could ever take to Preservation Hall Jazz Club, which is this crusty little wood building right here on your left. Hi, how are you? Okay, right through the metal door on your left. Right about now. There he goes into preservation hall. Hi, how are you? I love it. There's no line. Band's already playing. Could be Steve McQueen. Preservation Hall Jazz Band performing from 1965. And that lady is singing her name is Sweet Emma. And they called her Sweet because why, everyone? Because she's sweet. No, she was miserable. Oh. She hated everybody. All right, everybody, start looking to your left. 
Silverberg building coming up in your left is NCIS headquarters, but in reality, it's just a parking lot? Wah, 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 wah. Well, you're not on a base, we're in a federal building. Do I look like the federal building type to you? Oh no, more like a parking lot guy to me. And there they go into a parking lot. Bishop. Come on. Do you have a junk food machine inside? No, there's nothing in there. It's a parking lot, and I just ruined your TV show. <laughs> yes! Nobody, that place on the screen doesn't look familiar to anybody. Nobody made it there last night to Jean Lafitte's blacksmith shop, which is considered the oldest continuously operating bar in North America. It's supposedly been a bar nonstop since 1772. And once you see the building, you'll understand. It looks just like it was built in 1772. And here it is on your left, right in the corner, the crusty little wood building. This little guy right here, Lafitte's. Yep. It's usually, usually people drinking by now. It's a little mellow day today. And here comes Melanie Griffith on your left, head in the hat box to get a hurricane. You've been warned, it's crazy in Alabama. <laughs> James Bond driving up that street the wrong way and live and let die, <clears throat> which I will not be saying. Have a send off this way. Brad had this house for, when was Katrina? 13 years ago, the hurricane thing? You heard about that hurricane thing, right? 13 years ago, wow, that's crazy. So Brad um, came after Katrina to help out. So he bought a house in the French Quarter, just to kind of throw money at the city, really. And then also while he was here, he started something called the Make It Right Foundation. And he's built over 100 green homes for less fortunate people so far. But now the homes are falling apart. So yes, yeah, so the homeowners are suing Brad Pitt's foundation. And now Brad Pitt's foundation is suing the builders. So it's turned into a complete disaster, but his heart was in the right place. Yeah, but this could have been yours for a cool five million right here on your left, y'all. It's a little gray brick building in the middle. Y'all just missed out. You could have owned Brad's house. Man, and I would know their home on the tour. We would turn the corner. There'd be paparazzi running up and down the street, chasing the family around like crazy people. And that is the only time we ever see paparazzi, too, when Brad's here with Angie and what is it, the 27 children. They got a lot of kids, right? Anybody have a head count? America's oldest open air market, the French market. <clears throat> so gays to your left on the middle of the market. Here comes Clint Eastwood making the groceries. <clears throat> on the left. You're not married, huh? What makes you say that? Just a hunch. You hear the one about the cop? His wife left him a note saying she would fallen in love with anyone else. Well, I walked down through the French Quarter, looked out over the Mississippi, and swore I'd never leave. All right, let's go to Frenchman Street in the Marigny, the greatest music street in the world, and talk about the greatest actor alive. What's he doing every movie? Beats everyone up, of course, right? Because you know there won't be any meaningful dialogue in the movie. And this is going to go down all around you right here at this intersection. And we are parked right where the lady in the blue car is. And wait till you see this hairdo, ladies. This is a real man. <laughs> Forget about Channing Tatum. So here we go all around you. The muscles from Brussels doing some van damage. Oh, welcome to the 90s. The good old days. <laughs> wait for the hair, dudes. Wait for the hair. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look at that. <laughs> Whatever, Van Dam. It's a great part of town. Don't listen to him, and I'll tell you about it in a minute. Now, do you get it? Greatest actor alive? Did I sway your opinions? Nobody? Fine. Does that bar look familiar to anyone? 
Does it look like Pride's Bar in NCIS New Orleans? That's the true tone for all you NCIS New Orleans fans. It's a real place you can actually go visit. They just change the sign, put some placards in the window, and they call it a day. They come out of the garage on your left here at the Hilton Guarded Inn, and hopefully not smash into us. So if y'all see that, that red car on your left or any car moving, let me know. Bad guys driving towards us. And here comes Jason from your left down in the garage. Here he comes, everybody. Hey, everybody. He's coming. We got hit. Go. Go. Greatest man movie of all time, Sylvester Stallone and all of his buddies in one film. The expect Oh yeah. I do it, sorry. You know it's fine. You jump in anytime you want. I didn't think maybe we'd actually get that right. The greatest man movie of all time. Welcome to our next scenic location. Get your cameras ready, everybody. This little beautiful red building on your left is Expendables headquarters. Isn't it beautiful? So beautiful. Nothing but the best for y'all today on your tour. Now it's filled with tough guys. Hey, Gunner! Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, brother. There. Man's got a point. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do you a favor, Tool. I want to do a man. <laughs> I love poetry. Ready? <laughs> it's the logo from the movie, The Skull and the Raven. Yeah, after they're done filming, they're like, leave it, we love it. <laughs> yeah. Where's our part four? Why don't we have a part four of that movie yet, huh? It's the finest collection of Southern mansions in the U.S., and these people don't need money. So every time somebody tries to film at their house, everyone's like, no. So Mr. Charles, who owns a company, he's very movie and TV friendly. So anytime they need a house, they go straight to him. So you'll see the coven in tons of stuff, y'all. And all the trucks are open, so they're most likely filming something here right now as we speak. I think this could be the Kim Cattrall thing, Filthy Rich, the TV pilot. And there it is on your right, all of its glory. The coven, oh, yep, it looks like they're filming inside right now as we speak. Uh-huh, oh, they're, they're, the photo of the front's gone. Uh -oh. They're blocking our view. whole thing draped huh yep and this is a tv pilot and this probably cost a few million dollars to make and remember you may never see this you may never see this yep they got all the like a bunch of decorations up there so they actually have decor they actually set it as they want to for the production yep this is hollywood and is this anyone's first time seeing it this is all your first time seeing a tv set right yeah. yeah so you look in the backyard get a little better glimpse of what's going on down back here all your lights and all your peoples. Yeah. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Little TV pilot, Hollywood in New Orleans. Yeah, you keep driving around, you run into something eventually. It's kind of hard not to find a production filming. In the love story, Django. Love and a whole lot of blood. On your right, that guy. I'll play it right in front. My character is that of a big money buyer from Dissent of Hearing Green, built to buy my way into the Mandino fight game. And your oh, character. God. It's a Mandino expert that hired to help me do it. I call it one out, so. Bonsoir. Petite femme noire. We're here to see Mr. Calvin Kidd. Thank you. This house on your left on the corner right here is the house I am required by law, actually, to stay 300 feet away from Sandra Bullock's house. Love you, Sandy. That's Sandy's house. Whenever she's in New Orleans, she's not here that often. Whenever Sandra's in town, though, she's always having a benefit, raising money for charity. She's even adopted two children from here and even named one of them Louis after Louis Armstrong. Doesn't she seem like the sweetest thing ever? I'll never know. Love you, Sandy. Call me. Everybody loves Sandra Bullock, right? Can't go on with a good Sandra Bullock movie. 
John Goodman's full-time house when he's in town. Yep, when he's not working on a movie or TV show. Yep, and he's great. If we ever need him for the film festival, film commission, he'll always help us out. Really good guy. Oh, Brother Art Where that was a good movie, though. What about King Ralph? Oh, yeah. Terrible movie. Fred Flintstone? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he's made some classic movies, huh? <laughs> Uh, no, he got his own TV show though now because of Roseanne, huh? Good for him. And it's this house up on your left on the corner everyone's heading to. A house with the creepy trees, with the skulls in the fence that's always shrouded in darkness. Yep, right here on your left where people are flocking. Sadly, her husband died like 14 years ago now, so she actually moved to California um, to be with her son. Yep, but she left some of you some great books to read. All right, everyone, start looking to your right. Here you go. Ready? One, two, three. Movie studio. Ta-da! <laughs> I found you a building. You drive by and have no idea, would you? It's an old warehouse. Now we call it a sound stage. So this is center of our TV movie universe in New Orleans. The building up here in the middle has all the casting companies where I do my auditions. Mostly unsuccessful, but I do them anyway. So used to failure. Yep. Let's see if anyone's here today. Anyone actually working today? No, no, no one's back there. No trucks in the parking lot. No, lame, 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 lame today. It's such a beautiful day. I'm sure everyone's trying to filming outside today and trying to get their outdoor production days in because there's nobody here. Next stop, a fictional city in the movie 21 Jump Street. So here we go, ladies. Moment you've been waiting for. Right up on your left, one of the most beautiful, handsome, sexy men alive, Jonah Hill. And his friend, Channing Tatum. That's how it should be. All right, but just don't be driving it like teenagers, revving up the engine and shit, okay? We would never. Come on, house, give, give us a little credit. <laughs> Don't laugh, ladies. It's not funny. <laughs> you okay? Oh, yes. And this little Market Street power plant, y'all. This building's been out of business since the 70s. But if you need a post apocalyptic building for a Terminator battle, you need to murder somebody, you need a fight scene, you don't need to build a movie set, do you? Look at this thing. That's why this building is using more movies and more TV shows than anything we got. It's a movie set just waiting to happen. All right, y'all, look at your screen and then look to your left up Canal Street. That's the view from this exact spot up Canal Street, 1951. Same street lamps, right? Same street lamps, no tall buildings yet, and no palm trees because they're not native. And before we start winding down the tour, thanks for being everybody this morning, everybody. Thanks for getting up so early, brave in this horrible weather we're having right now. I apologize for that. Hope you learned something like this is kind of sort of Hollywood. And remember, only watch stuff filmed in Louisiana. I'll tell you what, man, that was a lot of fun. It was cool to see all of the different sites that he took us to, to see all the different movies that have been filmed here. We got to see some stuff that's currently filming, some TV shows, pretty amazing. I want to thank Johnny from New Orleans Movie and TV Tours for letting me come out and, and hang out and take the tour with him. It was fantastic, highly recommended. Come to New Orleans, go take that tour right there, man. It's totally worth it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little lanyard from this hoot at. Go pass a good time.